Welcome. The topic of this video is Detectron 2 Cloud Vision API Preview. In this video, we preview an upcoming tutorial series demonstrating how to run pre-trained Detectron 2 object detection, instant segmentation, and panoptic segmentation on a Raspberry Pi. So we're going to do this by deploying a Detectron 2 model to an AWS SageMaker endpoint and we're going to expose that endpoint as a REST API using the AWS API gateway. Check out the links to our previous videos in the description section where we show how to use Google Cloud's Vision API on the Raspberry Pi and Tiny YOLO 3 on the Raspberry Pi. This project overcomes some of the limitations we faced in those previous projects in the sense that we can now upload our own custom models and we're not limited by like the uh, image file size upload like we were in the uh, Google platform. This video is only a preview and demonstration of the final project, but in the upcoming videos we'll show you how to load a trained Detectron 2 model, save the model as a .pth file, uh, build a Docker container for deployment of custom models on AWS, deploy Docker container to AWS Elastic Container Registry, and we're going to package the model and assets in a tar file and upload to the S3 bucket. We're going to deploy the model to an endpoint, create a Lambda function, and create an AWS API Gateway REST API to expose our SageMaker endpoint. This diagram illustrates the project architecture. So we're going to deploy a pre-trained Detectron 2 model to a SageMaker endpoint in our custom Docker container. Then after we do that, we're going to create a Lambda function, which will invoke our endpoint. Now it will also transform the request before it invokes the endpoint, and it will return the endpoint result in JSON format. Then we will expose our SageMaker endpoint as a REST API using the Amazon API gateway. So this will process the HTTP request as a REST service. It will transform the client re request and it will return the Lambda result to the client. So in this case, our client is a Raspberry Pi, but it could also be um, your laptop or any other device. Now it's time for a demo. The first thing, we have cloned the um, Detectron 2 Cloud Vision API repo to our local system on our Raspberry Pi. And I'm just going to go into the images folder to show a sample image that we will use to show um, performing panoptic segmentation on a file. So this is our input image. It has a scene in a city with cars. We have people, pedestrians, we have buildings, we have trees, we have like a pavement. Yes, we have traffic lights, um, parking meters, etc. So to run this code uh, on our input image, we have the demo driver Python file. So this one will just load that file from the images directory. It will send it to our cloud API, process the results and annotate the image and display it on the screen. So we're just going to run it from the terminal. So it's running. Okay, and then we have our first result. Now, we're going to run it a couple times because you can see in the terminal I have some uh, timestamps indicating uh, how long it takes to do the um, predictions. So you see the first one was kind of uh, three seconds, but after that they're like a little less than uh, one and a half seconds. So it's averaging a little less than one and a half after doing it a couple of times. So I guess that first one is just our um, API gateway spooling up. Now let's take a look at the result. Now remember we had our original image and on top of our original image, we've annotated it with a couple of things. Um, first, we have bounding boxes for the objects that were detected. So you can see we have a bus, uh, we have cars, we have uh, people. And then in addition to that, we have um, instant segmentation. So we have mask on the objects within the bounding box. So we know exactly the pixels that compose that uh, object that was detected. This also shows panoptic 
segmentation and that it's uh, applied a mask to the background scenes like the road, pavement, buildings, trees, etc. In addition to using our Detectron 2 Cloud Vision API to process a file, we can also apply that to get real-time processing from the uh, Raspberry Pi camera. So you can see here I have my uh, GoPro camera connected to my Raspberry Pi and it's sending frame by frame to the uh, Cloud uh, Vision API and then the result is being processed on the Raspberry Pi and the image annotated and an overlay applied to the input image. So you can see now I'm placing objects in front of the camera. I have a car, a uh, toy cow, which is uh, interpreted as a dog. <laughs> Uh, I have a little toy soldier, which gets interpreted as a person. That's correctly uh, another toy soldier I'm going to put in front. And that shows the person. I have a toy horse. And that red image is my hand in and out of the frame. So you can see it's near real time. There's like a three second delay between when it um, updates the image. So not for every project, but for some applications, this might be acceptable performance. All right, you can see I'm placing some more image things in. I have like a traffic sign, which uh, gets detected as a stop sign and a chair. <laughs> and also you can see the um, in the panoptic, it's segmenting stuff. So anything not an object or an instance of an object is detected as stuff. So for example, we have the ceiling, the wall, and the floor are also being indicated by a, a color mask overlay. All right, so I did briefly detect the horse, and briefly. Now it thinks it's a chair. But you can filter out these um, predictions using the uh, score value so if you can put a score threshold and it will not it will ignore anything below a certain threshold so you can apply that in the code if you want all right that concludes the detectron 2 cloud vision api preview and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and you will be notified when the uh, upcoming tutorial videos are posted all right, and you can also go to blackmagicai.com, like us on Facebook, or sign up on our email list. Thank you for watching.